After the election mandate in Jammu and Kashmir and Haryana that has raked another big political storm. The BJP has managed to retain Haryana, but the Allies Congress and the NC have a clear majority to form the government in Jammu and Kashmir. Now leading the charge for the BJP, Prime Minister Narendra Modi earlier has taken a dig at the Congress and they in fact go on to say that the grand old party scared Muslims. That's what he says, that the grand old party scared the Muslims and divided Hindus for political mileage. The Prime Minister has also called the Congress the suppressor of the Sanatan traditions and the biggest factory of spreading hatred. Congress ka formula saaf hai. कि मुसलमानों को डराते रहो उनको भय दिखाओ उनको वोट बैंक के कन्वर्ट करो कांग्रेस की नीति है हिंदुओं की एक जाति को दूसरी जाति से लड़ाओ कांग्रेस जानती है कि जितना हिंदू पटेगा उतना ही उसका फायदा होगा कांग्रेस हमेशा बांटो और सत्ता पाओ के फॉर्मूले पर चली भारत में जहां भी चुनाव होते हैं वहां कांग्रेस यही फॉर्मूला लागू करती है अपना वोट बैंक पक्का करने के लिए कांग्रेस समाज में जहर घोलने के हर हथकंडे अपना रही कांग्रेस भारत के सर्वजन हिताय सर्वजन सुखाय की भावना का दमन कर रही है सनातन परंपरा का दमन कर रही है and remember towing the very same line you have a lot of other leaders of the bjp that have called the congress anti hindu and the new muslim league bjp's amit malviya has pointed out that hindus have no future either with the congress or in the congress now he goes on to say that in jammu and kashmir not even a single hindu candidate of the congress is one all the six seats have been won by the congress that have been won by muslim candidates which really takes the strike rate of the congress to a 15.38% now according to the bjp even in haryana the congress has won the seats only where you have the muslim population in a sizable number therefore it does not have to gloat about their rising vote share is what the bjp says in the meantime the nc and the congress have also rejected the claims of the prime minister and the bjp the congress has asked the people to listen in first to the election speeches of rahul gandhi and the prime minister to find out who divides and who spreads hate listen into this what are words before we debate अभी अभी प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी ने बिल्कुल सही बात बोली है इनका उद्देश्य वही है कोई समाज का अपलिफ्टमेंट नहीं बल्कि केवल और केवल हिंदुओं को बांटो वोट बैंक को एक करो और सत्ता में आ जाओ यही कांग्रेस की नीति है मुझे लगता है कि कोई भी व्यक्ति नरेंद्र मोदी जी का चुनावी भाषण और कांग्रेस पार्टी के किसी भी नेता का राहुल जी का चुनावी भाषण उठाकर देख ले हम जोड़ने की बात करते हैं इस समाज में नफरत फैलाने का मंच से खुले आम लोगों के कपड़ों से पहचाने जाने का शमशान कब्रिस्तान करने का मुजरा मंगलसूत्र करने का काम इस देश में किसने किया है प्रधानमंत्री जी ने तो वैमनस्यता कौन फैलाता है ध्रुवीकरण कौन करता है इस देश को बांटने का काम नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने उनकी पार्टी ने और उनकी सरकार ने किया है मोदी जी कुछ बहकी बहकी बातें कर रहे हैं You're watching the news hour at night. Debate number two on Times Now, Super Prime Time. And we have GBL who continues to stay with us along with Tehsin and Vivek Shivastava ji here uh, in our studio. Tehsin, first, let's ask you: Is the Congress really now becoming a party for the minorities, only for the Muslims? Tehsin, that's the charge. That's not true, and it's. Unfortunately, the Honorable Prime Minister, who came down to Muslim, Machhi, Mutton, Mangal Sutra during the Lok Sabha elections, has to retort to this in the Maharashtra elections before the Maharashtra elections because he knows that the BJP has no hope there. So he's hoping to communally polarize the election. This is the same Honorable Prime Minister who said Chamshan Kaparstan, who said Dangeyo ko kapro se pehchana jata hai. But I have a fundamental question for GVL, sir. अगर बांटोगे तो काटो तो कटेगे बटेगे तो कटेगे एज योगी आदित्यनाथ जी सेड एंड आई एम कोटिंग इन वर्ब एटम 
तो कौन बांट रहा है और कौन काट रहा है और काटने की हिम्मत है जब मोदी जी प्रधानमंत्री अमित शाह जी गृह मंत्री है आदित्यनाथ जी मुख्यमंत्री है तो फिर इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट आर हिंदू फेलो सिटीजन और मुस्लिम फेलो सिटीजन दे लीव द पोस्ट दो के पहले तो हमारे हिंदू भाई खतरे में नहीं थे मुसलमान भाई खतरे में थे 2014 के बाद ऐसा क्या हुआ कि सब खतरे में आ गए तो जिनकी वजह से खतरे में आए वर इन द पोस्ट शुड लीव द पोस्ट ऑटोमेटिकली गवर्न द कंट्री वेल नोबडी You see, isn't isn't it a fact that what the Honorable Prime Minister said? People of the country can see it for themselves. Was it not Manmohan Singh who said the first claim of resources in the uh, country's resources should be go should go to Muslims, should go to minorities? Is it not a fact that Rahul Gandhi, in an indoor meeting of uh, Muslim leaders, mm. said Congress is a Muslim party, and their own Congress leaders came out and stated this? Is it not a fact that Salman Khurshid came out and said uh, Sonia Gandhi wept when uh, when when uh, 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 Muslim terrorists were killed in the Batla House encounter? There are any number of examples. Is it not a fact that uh, the Congress government in Karnataka, the previous term, mm. uh, they, they said all the all those who are under trials in in jails who are Muslims should be let off? Mm. Why is it is it not very rank, rabid appeasement pol policy? Of the Congress Party? Have you not? Uh, uh, has the Congress Party in government not communalized te uh, terrorism? Have they not pro provided protection to even terrorists like Ishra Jaha when she was considered to be, she was claimed to be a terrorist by the LET themselves? Mm. There are any number of examples. Okay. Why did uh, 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 did Digvijay Singh not blame the the RSS mm. for 26/11 and gave? cover fire for the isi okay so, so GV, gvl has listed out a number of instances time is limited I, I i want to get gvl vivek to respond to these charges vivek these charges are true or false yeah absolutely i mean illogical i think gvl should know what is the vote percentage in haryana elections alone the Congress is marginally ahead of the BJP, in fact. Hmm. And you should know that 37 seats of the Congress is winning. I did not know that out of the 90, 37 seats are totally Muslim dominated. Hmm. This is new knowledge for me. You have got zero seats in Kashmir out of 47, sir. It is a complete rejection of, the, of your removal of 370. 10 years you did not okay. uh, allow elections over there. I okay. do not you know, know when the Vivek, complete but, but they also have the highest vote share. share. So Only I for word of time, apologies, Tessin. I'm not able to come back to you, GVL. Yes, we'll, t we'll take this debate another day. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Good night.